Hi, Hiram here. Earlier today I did a video on is it a burner or is it a stove where I was talking about what makes a burner and what makes a stove and so on. One of the uh, stoves that I talked about was this one. It's my canteen cup stove that I made well, a couple of years ago. 2009 I think. That was supposed to work with a canteen cup where I put four holes on one side, four holes on the other so that when the canteen set on top, flames would come out on the part of the canteen that was still overhanging. This is similar to a stove I saw on TZ Stoves videos. But what I had said was I was going to make another one where I had the holes go all the way around it. So I did. Basically what I have here is the base of one of those can bottles, the beer bottles. Two inches tall the diameter I think is two and a quarter. I drew a line one inch up from the bottom and put the bottom edge of the holes on there, 16 of them. They're about 0.23 inches in diameter. It's the basic diameter of a paper hole punch. Don't use your good punches for this. I started punching holes on the top edge like I did on the original one. But then I got to thinking, I'll just try it without so many holes up there, see what it does. I have one fluid ounce of denatured alcohol here. That doesn't quite go up. Looks like I could put another half ounce or so in here before it gets up to the holes. Let's start this so it gets warmed up. Okay, we'll let this can warm up so that it gets a bloom. If you don't warm it up, as soon as you put the pot on there, it kind of just puts it right out. So you do consume a bit of alcohol just uh, getting the stove to warm up. I have two cups of water here right now sitting at 59 degrees. Let's see what to talk about. Well, you can't see it too much, but what happens with this is as the flame is burning on the inside, it's sucking air in through the holes. So you get all of these jets uh, burning the fuel on the inside. The alcohol is starting to boil. Yeah, it's boiling in there. So let me see if I can put this on. When I put this on, the flame should, there we go, transfer to the outside. And let's see where this is going to go. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Let's see where this runs out to. Okay, and there we have run out at about 7 minutes and 10 seconds. 7.10. Not bad. So, basically what we have on that one was that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. One fluid ounce of denatured alcohol, the SLX stuff in here and it brought the two cups to boil in four minutes and fifteen seconds and then ran out at seven minutes ten so you would have definitely had safe drinking water and would able would have been able to cook just about you know any dehydrated stuff in that so looks like it works it's an easy stove to make anybody can do it you'll see a number of good videos on youtube on how to cut the cans and the rest of it like i said is just using regular I just used a regular paper punch so I thank you for watching I look forward to your input your questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now know you've been a good friend and that's in the thick and thin and I know it's
never gonna end.